Hello everyone, so with the recent release of the Time Extension Quest, I decided I'd make a video where I'd talk about them and give my thoughts on them after getting S rank on both hard versions of the quest. Keep in mind, most of what I talk about here will be in regards to the hard versions of the quest, which I'll just call Extermination Quests from here on out. To start things off, the Time Extension Quests are a fairly good addition as they essentially build upon the Blazing Battle and Nightshell Battle limited quests, which were introduced last September. The end result is the same thing, but it's much more fleshed out this time. To add to this, the time extension quests also have a normal, easy version and a difficult, hard version to satisfy both levels of players. Though, aside from the Master Cubes and the SG for S ranking ones and more GP upon clear, there isn't too much of a difference reward wise. The goal of the quest is pretty simple, and that's to kill trash mobs and bosses as fast as possible and moving from point A point B, making each move you take very important. The end goal is to make it to the final wave and kill the end boss. This means that due to the fact this is a team effort, everyone needs to put in effort to clear. Although, all of this is more of the case for the extermination versions of each quest where there is a harsh time limit in place. This doesn't exactly exist for the normal version of the quest where if you do the same strats, in the normal version that you would do in the hard version, you will have an extreme amount of time left over. Essentially, people who play Soul are likely to never clear this in a pug situation due to how teamwork is required to clear the hard version of the quest. I wouldn't really say this is the fault of the content though, and more so players for not attempting to reach out to other players. However, this is a thing with practically any high difficulty quest. Sorry Kiritos, you're out of luck once again. One of the key things to note for time extension quests, especially for the extermination versions, is that you are split up from your party members at times. These splits vary from 1-1-2 one, one, and two splits in Kavaris, or 2-2 two and 3 two, and splits in Retum and so on. Basically, you have to sort out where everyone is going in each individual wave and doing what. There are also stage gimmicks and buffs that appear throughout each wave which need to be utilized at specific points to quickly clear out the enemies or reach points quicker. With that aside, my overall opinion of the quest is generally really positive actually. The time extension extermination quests are one big puzzle to solve within a strict time limit that required genuine teamwork to pull off, and that is something that I really enjoy out of NGS. I had the exact same feeling when Cannibal Strike Arcs Records came out. While bossing content like Solus or Malignant Aegis are also fun, the time extension quests bring a different alternative to high difficulty content and, in my opinion, are overall more difficult. The loot does in fact leave a lot to be desired, but I tend to value the overall fun and enjoyment of the content first when considering if it's good or not. Especially in the case of high difficulty content where the loot is almost always just more of the same because Sega likely doesn't want to give players like myself the edge over other players who can't clear it. I would say that this is fair, but it's also always very disappointing that Sega continues to do this. I will say it was moderately painful learning the quest blind for my friends, and it took two hours or so per quest learning how to clean up our movements and sort out who wanted to go where, but it was overall a very fun experience. I guess this wouldn't be much of a rant if I didn't throw some shade though. I will say pugs have absolutely zero chance of playing extermination quests, assuming there is anyone even trying to pug it anymore. The BB requirement is 4050, which does lock out most of the players using the cursed free handout gear, but what matters more than that is the overall coordination needed to clear this quest. This is something the average pug lacks the capacity to pull off, even though one can watch a video on how to clear the quest, cooperation from randoms are likely slim to none since a lot of players just do their own thing in this game. It might possibly work in bossing content like Aegis or Solus where there's no puzzle to solve, but it simply won't work here. Time extension quests just demand a lot from its players. Maybe if more content demanded actual team effort, this could be improved, but it'll likely continue to be an issue forever. That's just how things are. Now, if you want to see how an S rank of the quest actually works, I highly recommend checking out my previous two videos. These two videos show off both Lowland Extermination and Frozen Forest Extermination. It'll hopefully give you a better idea of how the quest is executed so you can grab three other friends and clear the quest, hopefully. Overall, Time Ascension quests are a pretty solid addition to the game despite their same-ish loot, just in terms of gameplay alone. Hopefully we get more quests that break from the standard Guru Guru we seem to get forced down our throat a lot these days. But, you know, Sega be Sega. Let me know what you think of Time Extension Quest 2. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.